King David has said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And today we're going to do exactly that. Those of you who are here, those of you who are watching across America and around the world, today the Jewish people are at war for their very survival. So let's bow our heads today and pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, King of the universe, the God who calls the stars by name, who holds the seven seas in the palms of his hand. Today we lift up to you the state of Israel and Jerusalem, the city of God. We pray for the families who have been shattered by this vicious terrorist attack. We pray for the women and children who are now placed in tunnels to be used as objects of negotiation in the future. We pray for the wounded from the barrage of rockets. We pray for the IDF that you give them favor to crush the enemies of God. We pray for the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, that you give him the wisdom of Solomon in guiding Israel to victory over this tyranny. In your name we are praying. For he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The word says, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. The word says. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakwakwadash. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world, to the spirit of power of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh. So, what you just saw there was this pastor. Um, going by the name of John Hagee, this false prophet, you know, which he could be a, he could be a, he could be a small hatter himself, you know, who knows, but, you know, he's the main advocate for these, um, for these, for these small hatters, you know, he's out there, you know, you know, he's the main front runner, you know, you know, endorsing or standing by these small hatters. You know, that claim that, you know, they're the Lord's people, which, you know, they're not the Lord's people. You know, these 1948ers, you know, the gutter rats that are over there in the land right now that are in Jerusalem and Israel, they're not the they're not the true biblical Hebrew Israelites that walked across the Red Sea, you know. And I'm pretty much sure he knows this, you know. All right. He knows this. And a whole lot of these, you know. Actually, all these pastors, they know, you know, they know who the real Israelites are. But the thing is, they're not going to say it. You know, they're not going to tell the people because they're under, again, they're under that 501c3 tax charter statue, you know. So under that 501c3 tax statue, you know, they, they give up their First Amendment right, which means that they can't tell the truth, you know. And here it is, he's trying to say, oh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Well, the people, the true people are not there. And ultimately, our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, is not there yet. Because true peace is going to come when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back and reclaims the earth. And sets up, you know, the kingdom of heaven and sets up his throne in Jerusalem. Just like in um, during the time of King Solomon, here it is, you had 40, 40 years of peace, you know, when King Solomon was ruling the earth, and which is our Lord Yahweh Shai is King Solomon in the reincarnation, you know. But anyway, there's not going to be no peace over there in the land, all right, because the scripture says here in um, Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace save the Lord unto the wicked. You see? There is no peace save the Lord unto the wicked. You know? Here it is. You got all kind of wickedness that's going on in that land. You know? You got gay parades. You know? They're kosher and pig. And they're, they're pretty much doing all kind of an, an abominable things over there in the land. So you think, Our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua is pleased with that? No. Because first of all, they're not the people... They don't, they don't, 
they don't fit the prophecies of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter you know and ultimately they don't belong there pretty much they just um perpetrating a fraud you know that's what they're doing and most of the people over there already know this you know like the um the egyptians you know people over there that's over there in the east they know that they're not the true people of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. They're not the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know, the true, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. All right, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. We're the ones that fit the curses, the prophecies of Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter. These gutter rats, they don't. You know, because when the true people get over there, you know. When our Lord Yahweh Shai gets over there, you know, then that's when there's going to be peace. And ultimately, it's our Lord that's going to bring his people back over there, you know. First of all, they don't fit prophecy because, you know, we're not, you know, it didn't say, you know, because they got over there by a way of, of the Balfour Declaration. That's how they're in the land right now. They're in the land by the way of the Balfour Declaration. Where is that in the scriptures? You know, that wasn't the Lord that brought them over there in the land. Because the prophecy says, here, let me get it real quick. I'm going to get back. So the prophecy says here in um Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in the day, save the Lord. So like, yeah. And it shall come to pass in the in that day that the Lord shall set his his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Verse 12, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and they shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. You see, so it was, it's the Lord that's going to bring the, the, the children, the remnant, actually, which is the elect, you know, of the nation of Israel back into the land, you know. Not by a way of no fucking bow, bowful decoration, okay? It's the Lord that's going to bring us back into the land, you know? So, um, let me get this real quick. Because here it is, they don't fit prophecy once again, you know? And we always bring this, this, this scripture out. Um, Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 And it shall come to pass in the last days That the mount That the mountain of the Lord Lord's house shall be established In the top of the In the top of the mountains And shall be exalted above the hills And all nations shall flow unto it And many people shall go and say Come ye and let us go up to the mountains of the Lord The house of The house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord shall, um, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So here it is. The law is not being pushed out there. They're not even keeping the law. Once again, they're, they're breaking the law. They're breaking every, <laughs> every last law, you know. And more, more. And more, you know, that homosexuality that's going on over there in the land. That gay parade, you know, that's going on over there in the land. So the law is not going forth out of the land. And no nations are flowing onto the land. All right. They're not learning of the ways of these heathens over there. These, night, these, these small hatters. Verse 4, and he shall, 
and he shall judge among the nations and rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their um and their and their spears into puny hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn of war anymore. So, why is there war in the land? If these are the true people of the Lord, why is there war in the land? We always ask this. You know? There should be peace upon the earth. But there is no peace because the wicked is ruined. Verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. You see? So come he, let us walk in the light of the Lord. You know? So the, these are what these other nations are saying. You know? Because they're going to follow the ways after Jacob, after our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai. Once um, the true people get over there. But the key is, is that the true people are not over there in the land. They're over here in America, so they're serving slavery, catching hell, you know. Because all the tribes are here in America, you know, from Judah all the way down to Issachar, you know. All the tribes are over here in America. And, like, where, where are the rest of the tribes? They only go by Judah and Levi, you know. And I heard Benjamin, too, but, you know. But, you know, where are the rest of the tribes? If they're, if they're fulfilling prophecy, they claim that 1948 was the fulfillment of prophecy, right? When it was established as a nation, but that's not, that's not fulfillment of prophecy. Because after that, there was war. War broke, all hell broke loose. You know, war broke out. So if y'all the true people of the Lord, why is there war in the land? Why did war break out? Because y'all not the true people of the Lord. Y'all a bunch of heathens. Now, let me get that again. So, Isaiah 48 and um, 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. So, there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. This is why there is no peace. This is why, you know... Praying for over there, praying for those gutter rats of 1948 is over there. And, it, and Israel is, is an abomination unto the Lord. Because they're not the true people. You know? They're not the people of the Lord. And they're committing all kind of sin and all kind of um, wickedness in the land. So, these people that are praying for the peace of Jerusalem is an abomination. You know? It's an abomination unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And it's only going to get worse because eventually that land will be destroyed by a way of thermonuclear um, fire. But the thing is, it's going to be built back up, you know. So let me get another priest up real quick. So this is um Zechariah chapter 9 verse um 6 and it reads and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod Selakia and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines so what 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 the word, what does the word bastard mean an illegitimate son you know So the, these are what these 1948ers are you know they're nothing but bastards that's in the land right now, perpetrating a fraud, you know? Personating us, trying to personate the real people of the um the real people of the Lord. You know? That's what they're doing. They're impersonating the real people of the Lord. You know, perpetrating a fraud. And eventually they're going to get wiped up out of there. You know, this is just the beginning, you know, what's taking place over there. And eventually, you know, they're, they're starting to blame Iran, 
you know, for 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 that attack. So eventually, you know, they they're gonna end up doing something that's gonna that's gonna cause this thing to just pop wide um pop wide open. Because like the scripture says, the least of the flock shall draw them out. You know, pursuant to Jeremiah. So the the least of the flock is gonna draw these um are gonna draw the people out. So I'm moving on. So this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse, um, let me get 24. So this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 24, and it reads, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and they shall fall by the edge of the, of the sword, and shall be led away captives into all nations. You see? So that's talking about the real Israelites, you know, which we were, um, which we did fall by the ed edge of the sword pursuant to, um, you know, n 19, um, so like, yeah, um, 70 AD, you know, when we fled out of Jerusalem, fleeing for Roman persecution, you know, you know, we all fled different directions, but the, the bulk of us fled into Africa, which they were getting killed by the sword, you know, because of the Romans, you know, under Titus, you know. So we were, we were being slaughtered over there. And we got led away captive into all nations, you know. We, we were brought over here in slavery, you know, and different parts of the earth, you know. So we were led away captive in all nations, you know. Likewise, the southern kingdom, you know, the tribe of Gad, you know, they were, they were led away captives, you know, because the first slave ships came out of Spain, and even Gadites were being um, led away into captives over there, going going over there to the um to the east, you know. So that that goes for all the tribes, not just um Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, all of all of all the tribes went through that um persecution of being led away captives. But this never happened to the so-called Jew, you know. They weren't there. They were in history where where it was that they were led away captives, that they served slavery, you know. That they were traded and sold as slaves. You know, you're not gonna find that anywhere in the history. But they would like to bring up this bullshit Holocaust that never happened, you know, which. There was no six million of them that perished, you know. It was all a lie. Because the one that did the killing, you know, he himself was a so-called was in the um was a small hider himself. You know, sugar groover. You know, which he stemmed out of the line of the Rothschilds. Which they're the top family that's ruling the earth right now. The Rothschild family, which are Ashkenazi Jews, so-called Jews themselves, perpetrating a fraud, and these these um these Rothschilds, they know who we are. They know who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are. But they're the main family. They're the main top family that's perpetrating this fraud throughout the four corners of the earth, because they're the top family. They're the top. You know, they're the top family that's ruling this earth right now. You know, the Rothschilds. So let me read that again. First, um, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captives into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until, until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. See, that's what's going on right now. Jerusalem is being trodden down by the Gentiles. And who are the Gentiles over there? That's talking about these heathens, you know. That's talking about these small hatters, which is being trotted down right now. So Jerusalem is definitely being trotted down by these heathens over there. Until the gen until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, which right now, you know, the time of the Gentiles is about to be fulfilled. Because they're at the end of their kingdom. They're at the end of their 
their rulership. You know? Because um, the signs are in the heavens, you know? Because um, the Lord's return, we got to watch for the signs. And going on to verse 25, and it, and it states the signs. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity and the seas warrant. You see? So there shall be signs in the sun, you know? There, there's about to be, what, a ring of fire eclipse that's about to take place on the 14th of this month, this week. You know, that's a sign, you know? Just last month, there was um, a super um, blue moon that took place. You know, these are all signs from the Lord that the, our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to reclaim this earth. You know, so we know that our Lord Yahweh Shai is just right at the door, you know. And he's ready to reclaim the kingdom. He's ready to take down all these kingdoms. You know? Because the only the only nation that's gonna end it. That's gonna end all things. That's gonna end this thing is the nation of Israel, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. Because the scripture says that, you know, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, you know. So Esau is the end, and we're and we're the beginning, you know. It's gonna start. It we're, you know, it's gonna start with our Lord Yahweh Shai. We're gonna um. The Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to end end this all. You know? Our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to end this war. You know? Not these gutter rats. They talk about they will win the war, but they're not winning shit. Because they got to get past our Lord Yahweh Shai. If they want to stay in power, <laughs> and which that, that's not going to happen. You know? Because it's our Lord Yahweh Shai that's going to end, end this thing for good. And of his kingdom shall be no end. You know, so I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna give all praises and glories due to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Rakwakwadash, Shalom.